Heathrow's Terminal 5. Busy as ever, everyone with their own lives to live. But amongst the throng, someone who's dedicated himself to helping others. He's former soldier Wayne Ingram, who's come to Heathrow to meet Stefan Savage, a Bosnian lad he's been helping for over a decade. I was in charge of an area called Lactati. I normally, you know, the British Army is very good at hearts and minds. We'd arrange meetings to introduce ourselves to people. Um, it was then during a the meeting that I was introduced to the Ministry of Defence who told me, he said, look, have you seen this? And showed me a picture of Stefan. I met Stefan's father, Milos, at the time. I was then invited to the house. I was really nervous when I, I went to the house, but then when you meet Stefan, you meet the family. Stefan, apart from his face with disfigurement, this is like any other child. Run towards me, fell over. And really, from that moment, I thought, yeah, OK, let's... Let's see what we can do. Uh, and again, it was a struggle initially. I didn't know if it was going to happen. But ten years later, you know, we're here for the final operation. Wayne was serving in Bosnia with 9th 12th Lancers when he met Stefan for the first time. A happy lad, despite his predicament, Wayne determined to help him. And BFBS followed his fundraising mission. This culminated in a trip to the UK and Great Ormond Street Hospital for specialist surgery. Here, Stefan first met Mr. David Dunaway, the surgeon who had operated on him. And as he explained at the time, it was a complex task. It is, of course, a very major procedure, and gaining access to the bones around the eyes means that we have to operate in close vicinity to the brain. Um, so part of the operation will involve protecting the brain so that this, uh, we minimise the risk of causing surgical damage and then afterwards we'll be taking lots of steps uh, in order to reduce the risk of bleeding or infection in that area. The day of the operation was of course worrying for Stefan's family but afterwards the effect was huge. Fast forward a decade and Wayne waits for Stefan's flight from Zagreb to arrive. He's here for a further operation. Well, we always knew at the 10 year point that he was going to require another operation. So we've been building up to this and building up to it. And then, yeah, and then we started the, the fundraising event early this year. But it was, it was a real struggle because it came onto the back of all the flooding and everything else. So, so we were very aware that people, it's funny, we were, were struggle to, you know, to donate money. But again, they didn't. The, the British public came to the aid and donated thousands. I'm really nervous again. I'm really nervous of, of, of meeting the family again. I mean, it's been a couple of years since I've seen them. We have, as you say, we have kept in touch. But it just seems, it seems bizarre that 10 years has passed, all this money's been raised, there's been several operations, and he's now back for his final operation. It's just surreal, really. <laughs> Wayne needn't have worried. A happy reunion was guaranteed. A chance for Wayne, Stefan and Mum Slava to get reacquainted before a big day. The next morning, Stefan, his family and Wayne arrive at Great Ormond Street Hospital in London. It's here that he'll have his operation. Once again, David Dunaway is on hand to talk through what will happen. The main focus of surgery this time is Stefan's nose, which will be reconstructed. Also, titanium used to move his eye sockets an inch closer together in 2003 has served its purpose. I want to get all of that metal work out, which is now no longer necessary uh, and take the next stage in reconstructing his nose which is to give it more of a framework and he needs some cartilage in his nose which is missing so the plan is that we will take a piece of uh, rib cartilage uh, and then fashion that into a nasal shape re-drape the skin over it and make a, a nasal skeleton covered by his skin and uh, I think that should have a very good effect in imp improving the appearance of the nose. And I think it also, at the same time, will be able to improve his nasal airway. Before the operation, the hospital checks Stefan is in tip-top condition. The procedure is scheduled to take between four and five hours and will be carried out under general anaesthetic. But that's still in the future. First, Wayne wants the Savage family to meet the Facing the World charity, who've helped with the arrangements for the trip. There, Stefan and Slava explain to me how grateful they are for all the help and support Wayne has given them. It means the world to us since in September he's starting secondary school and it's really important for him to have this correction now. How important has this all been to you and how will it change your life? 
Awesome, se su zadovoljni, super. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased to have this surgery. I don't know what else to say. Bovington Tank Museum in Dorset. And less than a week after the operation, Stefan's getting along really well. There's no doubt the surgery carried out by Great Ormond Street Hospital has drastically improved his chances of living a normal life. This latest nose reconstruction work should be the last major facial operation he'll have to endure, although he will need orthodontic work in the next few years. For Wayne, seeing Stefan again and helping in his continuing recovery is deeply moving. Stefan Savic has certainly been on quite a journey since he met Wayne Ingram in 2003, a chance meeting of a British soldier and a little boy that's changed both of their lives for the better. Tim Cooper, Forces News.